What was once Oasis Springs is now Merkland, a post-apocalyptic world where there is very little access to food or water. Most Merklanders grow trash plants to survive, or rummage through all trash cans looking for something edible. There are zombies and mutant raccoons and simmers living in tents, bunkers and abandoned buildings. Virtually, a cat and a lion were caught during a nuclear exposure during the apocalypse that caused them to merge somehow. The lion passed on, but the stray and Lee are still alive. Barely. Lee is a little bit feline and now legally blind. Hot Pocket the cat, now a mutant. Mayor Epoch Salamander of the Burner Camp found them wandering the wastes of what was once Oasis Springs, tagged her, and gave her a lot to survive in. Was it charity, a part of his master plan? Find out in Merkland. Hello, wonderful peoples of the internet! This is me, Joaquin! I am so happy to see you, my buttercup. It has been way too long. Oh, forgiveness. Listen, uh, virtually is in this challenge, so guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to take over her computer, so give me one second here. I got to uh, climb out of the computer, I've got to uh, sit in a chair and adjust myself, and I am so ready to... That intro was so serious! Oh my goodness, with the fancy accent and the fanciness. Well, we're not going to be so fancy in this challenge, no. This challenge was created by a most brilliant simmer, by the name of Brennacan. I am so sorry if I am butchering your name. Oh my goodness! This is horrible! I have a knack for saying words in the wrong places and things in the wrong places too. Uh, that sounded weird. But you know what I am saying? I want to take you guys... <clears throat> I want to take you guys all the way to the tops of the worlds because I want... Oh, I, I, oh. I've got to get used to all these controls. This is not like playing computers inside the Sims. It's so different. I'm going to save this and I'm going to come back to her in a second. Because uh, we're going to have some fun with virtually. <laughs> oh, she deserves so much pain and suffering. Anyways, this is the wonderfulest world that Brand Cannon made. Every single one of these lots and every single one of the peoples in the households and their stories and we're going to get to know all of them. <clears throat> I cleared out this entire world except for Willow Creek. I completely missed that one. But uh, we did Nuke Crest and, uh, and the Wildenburg um, <clears throat> with all kinds of other simmers, post-apocalyptic lots families and their stories this is the most fun i think i am going to have because you know what let me tell you something virtually has been harassing me for almost two years now and i am going to get her back uh, unfortunately her dog is still in the real world and he's going to be barking from times to times but we are going to be okay with that right because we are pet friendly you and i my buttercups i missed you all right, let's get in here and let's see what we are going to do. <clears throat> I can barely hear the game, um, but that is because I am struggling with the audio. I am not very computer literate. You know me, I like to have parties and fun instead. So if you cannot hear the game very well, I am sorry. I put some backdrop music for us to be a little better chilling and relaxing. And what we are going to do is we're going to let virtually hello to these people because Part of the challenge is for her to uh, meet people and we're going, oh, everybody's disappeared except that one person. And you know what I am going to do? I am going to have her hang out for a little bit so she can, um, oh, heartfelt compliment Mr. Ponytail Man with the long, luscious black hair. Virtually is very jealous. See, she was caught in a nuclear reaction where her hair turned all kinds of funny colors and her ears are most potent because she is legally blind. She's legally blind because of the exposure. Uh, can you tell me, uh, can you tell her about the local fishing spot, sir? While she is talking there, what I am going to do is I am going to uh, discuss interest to and tell him an engaging story. You are so boring. You cannot tell engaging stories. What we are going to do is we're going to uh, 
pick all the harvestables and we are going to make sure our kitty cat our mutant cat hot pocket <laughs> that is such a funny name hot pocket <clears throat> oh bella bye hello um she's going to have people come over and say hello what is this man doing in his underwears what are you the cliff dwellers say hello bird really say hello oh and there's a pirate lady Wait, sir, in the, in the, wait, sir, I do not know how to do these controls. I am but a virtual creature, as a matter of fact. Hey, do the friendlier introduction. Say hello to all these people. Oh, that is Mad Mother. He is so mean. Uh, can you do a funny introduction? Can you, can you be kind to all of these people? Soon she was going to get the welcome wagon, and I do not want her to miss those people, because they get most mad to see these people in plaids. They're a gang. Do you see that secret uh, eye contact stare that they did? Oh, oh, so many stories, you guys. So many things I have to tell you. But let's talk about the challenge until the the uh, welcome wagon comes here, and then we can make her put her to work so she, she her cat won't die. Uh, <clears throat> so the first thing we have to do is we have to get money for the kitty cat. That is not part of the challenge. That is my own thing because I do not want the cat to be taken away. The true challenge rules are that. Um, she, she virtually, because of the post-apocalyptic town and the scarcity in the foods and the waters, she cannot take a bath, but only on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. It reminds me of Puerto Rico. When I lived there, it was the same thing. But anyways, <clears throat> then we have to collect 16 trash plants and they have to be made from scratch. In other words, we have to let trash all over our beautiful lab that was created by Brennigan Sims. Look at this beautiful place. All right, she's meeting people. Is that digging for her? Okay, so she has two people. Now, who is this person? I don't think she's part of our world. Um, but we're going to do a funny introduction so that we can get the diggings going on. Where is her welcome wagon? Uh, am I waiting on purpose? Oh, here it is. Here it is. This is Brenda Ken Sim. Um, say hello. I invite your neighbors in. They're coming. Why they are they going all the way over there? Um, yes. Invite your neighbors in. See, I didn't want to lose them because what happens is if we want to be the friends of the world, which we have to complete this aspiration as part of the challenge, then we want to make sure that um, she says hello to all of her neighbors because that was going to help her tick in this uh, particular part of her aspiration. So, trash plants. Uh, no bath unless it's Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. She cannot marry or have anybody moving with her. Um, there, are, there are many rules. If you guys are interested in this challenge, I am going to post a link to Brenna Khan's challenge in the situation down below. Hey, would you come over here? Why aren't you playing with you? There is no cell connectivity. Invite them in for the love of goodness. Oh my gosh. Uh, she's as blind as a bat, but her ears should be working, and I am asking her to do things. Oh, she has some funny socks on. Where is Birch Willy? Oh, she is taking her own sweet time. Uh, notice that her cat was burned off in the uh, nuclear explosion. It, yes, it was. It, it was blown off. The Hot Pocket doesn't have any... um. Doesn't have any tails either, so, you know, it, it is part for the course. It's part of what happened. Um... Did we not meet you already? And why are you why are you stealing things from my cooler? Uh, what I'm going to do too, if you read the rules to the challenge and you go as far as you're going to the second um, tier of this challenge, there's a second part. This is only the starter part. Um, you let me know if you want our virtually to pay the bills or if you want to virtually to not pay the bills because that is going to be dependent oh hello to the other ponytail great new neighbor say hello to your new neighbor uh hopefully that will take she introduced herself to three people um uh say hello did you say hello he is coming over he is coming over he wants to steal juice like this other ponytail man these are the wolf and moon vardo this is the um Ice and Stone Vardo, they're brothers. They live right across the way here in this uh, in this van. Um, they made it their home. So we will know their story in a little bit. So what we are going to do now, now that she has invited her neighbors and she's been talking to them, um, is this another neighbor? Is she going to meet this one? Yes. Is she part of the... Um, thank for coming. 
Uh, do we have fruit cake? That would be really lovelier if you brought some fruit cake. What is he doing? He is pulling a rope that is invisible. Um, I get to know the neighbor. Oh, did you greet her? Okay, she introduced herself to four neighbors. What I am going to do right now is I'm going to start the harvestable and let them let them carry on with their own things. Uh, we will also have to start fishing. Uh, that will be really important for this challenge. I am so excited to be playing this with you guys. You guys are have no idea how excited I am. I'm going to start the digging and I'm going to start her in the uh, in the fast mode because we don't want our cat to die. Our cat is kind of like our first priority right now. And then what we're going to do is because it's Sunday, um, she's going to start getting pretty murky soon. And on Monday, we can take her to the spring so you guys can visit most of the lots. There are some lots I cannot visit until virtually has um, many levels in her gardening and her charisma um, because there are political type uh, um, lots. And there's much politicalness going on right now because so many people are trying to take advantage of the waste and the misery um, and they want to get power, get control. Um, it just in our world, the, the regular politicians don't exist. There is no Trump. There is no Obamas. It, it is a guy. Uh, his name is Epoch uh, Salamander and... He is our very first mayor in this world. And uh, he's given us a home. He's gave us a lot to live in, which uh, we're kind of thankful for, you know. Oh my goodness, she is slower than a pregnant turtle. Come on, I even have you in fast speed. Oh, she's going to drive me bananas. She is going to drive me bananas. Um, our cat is also a prowler. So this is going to be really, really important for us because um, he's going to... You, you skipped one. You skipped one. Oh my gosh. Let us put her in faster speed because um, this poor Nina is... Uh, it, it, yeah, she... she, she her, her elevator doesn't go all the way to the top, my friends. It just does not... Uh, I want to make sure that she also got the frogs over here because um, that's going to be really, really important uh, for her to get. Uh, there's some more over here. Let us have her come over here. And, uh, oh, she needs to go to the bathroom. Fine. Fine. We'll take you to the bathroom. If you have to go to the bathroom, why are you trying to? She is trying desperately to call her husband. Her husband is not in this world. Oh, look. He brought us feathers. Oh, he brought us feathers. Oh my goodness, offer friendship. Who is this person over here? Oh, this person, Dr. George Wonder. He he lives in Wildernessburg. Uh he he lives in a in a little shack in front of a a scientific facility. We will learn he's a uh, his story later, I promise. Uh, hot pocket. Hot pocket. What, why is your face in the bush? You are get peed on. Move. How did we get these? Oh my goodness. Can you grab a serving? Oh, make sure you don't pee in the gumbo. Did somebody cook for us? Did they do all this for us? Oh... See, this is why I wanted to say hello to my friends. This is why I wanted to do this. Now, I do have a few mods. I do have a few mods. Aww. Say hello to your hot dog. They became friends. They became friends. But it did not take on the have friends module. I guess it has to be externally. Uh, oh, I wish we could put this away. Um, but she has the glutton trait. Uh, let's learn a little bit about our sims because it's important to know uh, what we are dealing with here. She's cheerful. She loves the outdoors. She's gregarious. She's a glutton. She has big ears. She has no tail. She is blind as a bat. 
oh, this is going to be so good. And Hot Pocket, he's a free spirit. He's a prowler. He's skittish. He already brought us some gifts. This is so good. And while I have the Playables Pets mods, I really want to make sure that um, we don't play too much with him. We want to focus on virtualies um, and her all her monies. Let's make sure that we get all the cat stuff now that we have all the stuff um, in our inventories. And once she's uh, oh, give him some food. Give give him some food. Don't be greedy, girl. He has your hair. And he is matching you. And he deserved this. Uh, how many times are we going to do this a week? Well, I'm going to try and do a, a, about a 20, 25 minute recording. Um, two or three times a week. Uh, this is going to be a really fun challenge. And I really want you guys. This is a let's play. You and I are going to let's play together. So you tell me. Do you want her to pay the bills? Or not pay the bills. I'm going to put a poll in this first video. Um, here, open this. No, you are not going anywhere. Open this. Op 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 open this, girl. Open this. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take her over here. Looking for frogs there. And dig for treasure. And dig for treasure. You have two things to do for digging for treasure. Um, she has no fun right now. But it's, this is not a fun place to be. I mean, it is for me. It's a wonderful place for me. But for the peoples that are living here and trying to survive, I would imagine this would be very, very difficult for them to, to embrace. Do you know what I am saying? Um, the other thing I want her to do since she is down here is I want her to go fishing. And while that is happening, I am going to go back into her place and make sure the hot pocket has a place to poo and a place to eat and a place to sleep because that is important. We have to take care of the animals. They're all mutants right now, you know, in this world. Um, they're quite disgusting looking, but you know, that is just my opinion. Oh, she has enough for this? Oh, wait. We did not put our funds into zero. Why did you not tell me such a things? Hmm. I, do you know what I think is fair? What I think is fair is to give her... She has at least 320 simoleons um, because she has the fossils and she had the um, she had the fossils and she had the 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 crystals and she had yeah, let's be fair and give her at least the 320. I'm pretty sure that is that is enough. Um, so we could. Oh, this is glitched out. This is not fair. Let's go back in here now. See now, now it's fair. Now it's clocking and saying that you can you can buy these things. All right, um, we're going to get her uh, cat this thing, and we're gonna get him this. This is gonna help us actually because uh, what is gonna be happening is the poo is gonna turn into trash for us. Uh, that is my master plan, and uh, it may be a little bit of an advantage if you have a pet because if they poo, that that could help you fertilize. That could help you do so many things if you if you have things um, available to you like that. Uh, we're gonna get him a toy because um, you know he 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 deserves a little toy. Oh, do we not? Right here, right right here. Um, and then uh, we're going to get him a little bed. It's a little kitty cat. So we're going to make sure that um, it matches the, the, the decor of this place. Do you know what I am saying? I don't know what I am saying. You probably don't know what I am saying either. Okay. Um, virtually, are you doing what I told you to be doing? Um, ooh, we've got some feathers. Oh, this is going to be so good. Do we got any good frogs? Of course, we didn't get any good frogs. Why would we be getting some good frogs? This is virtually her luck is awful. Awful, I tell you. Um, and then a $30 one. Oh, Hot Pocket, you are going to be such a good addition to us here. Um, uh, she's getting a little bit sleepy, but I'm going to let her get in the red before I send her to the tent. 
And what I want, uh, I think Hot Pocket is doing okay because he ate some of the hot dogs and she gave him some food from the thing. And look, Renekin left us some deodorizing cream. This is going to be, so this is part of the challenge too. We can create the deodorizing cream ourselves, but we have to go to Granite Falls in order to do so. So we cannot leave Oasis Springs unless it is for Granite Falls. That is very important to note. You guys are going to have to keep me honest. Um... Oh, the other thing I wanted to get. Oh, look, she has 555 simoleons. The other thing that I wanted to get is the trash can. Um, because it is important for us to have a trash can. And something very cheap because she is she is not very um rich, you know what I what I mean. Um, so we're gonna have to do that. The palm trees, the palm trees were almost blocked our way, but uh, she'll be okay. Let, let's see how many fish, she can't fish, she doesn't know how, she's never fished in her life. <laughs> she's never fished in her life, everybody, she's going to be such a hot mess. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I wanted to find some custom content to, uh, look at that, pathetic fish. Uh, she cannot eat any of the fish she fishes because these waters are toxic. And it's going to make her die and make her mutate even more if that is such a thing. Um, I wonder what her skill levels are looking like. So she's a level one. Let's get her to at least level two before we send her to bed. Is that fair? Look, the murkiness meter is happening. She is halfway to murkiness. That makes me so pleased. I am so pleased with this. Oh my goodness, <clears throat> she probably is going to lose some weight too because, you know, the food around here is not very spectacular, but uh, that is just me thinking these things. Um, her radioactive dragonflies, don't let them bite you. Then you will be half cat, half dragonfly. That would be amassing. That would be so amassing. Uh, let's fast forward here a little bit because... Like I say, she is so slow in everything right now. Uh, okay, they're too crafty because you suck. Uh, <laughs> we're going to come over here and make sure that there's food here. And um, we're going to pretend that we're going to clean the little box. And that's going to create our first trash. That's going to be the most exciting. I have never been so excited for trash in my life. And, you know, welcoming the welcome wagon into your home. Look at this. More trash. Hopefully we'll get a trash plant right there. Oh, look at this. We're going to get trash plants everywhere. This is so good. This is so good. Look at this. Look at this. Watch what's going to happen. Watch, watch, watch. And I say no. Yes, our first trash. We will guard it with our life. Um, and we can say this too. Watch. Throw, throw that away. Throw that away. Watch, watch, watch. Watch, 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 watch. No, no. Throw it away. Throw it away. No. Ah, our second trash, you guys. We are so smart with this. Oh my goodness. We are so smart with this. Um, Let's do this again. Let's do this again. Throw it away. Throw it away. <laughs> throw it away. Throw it away. Oh, no, no, no. Don't throw it away. I lie, I lie, I lie. Ah! Oh, there is no place to put this. Okay. Uh, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Throw it away. Throw it away. Por favor. That would be so lovely. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, virtually. I'm kidding. I lied to you. <laughs> oh, this is so good. This is so good. I want her to do it one more time. I don't know why I'm so entertained. I like telling her to do things and then stopping her midway because she is so hilarious. Look at that head. Ah, her kitten head. Oh, hot bucket is sleeping. He is so sleeping. Oh, thank you. Now you can go to sleep, my dear. You did very good work for the first day. Oh, we have one, two, three, four, five trash piles. I think... I think we are making headways. I think we are making headways here, peoples. Oh my goodness, virtually. Virtually is doing actually pretty good under my under my direct supervision. Do you know? 
I, I'm going to let her sleep, my peoples. I'm going to let her sleep. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back when she is not sleeping anymore. Is that a good idea? Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, okay. What is happening? Why were you picking up my trash? Oh my goodness. I need you to get up and tell her to... to First of all, say hello so you can get some friendly points, okay? And then tell her to go away. You cannot just come into my lot and pick up. I am trying to do things, stuff and things here. Uh, uh, get to know her so you can... You can uh, so she is halfway there, you people. She's halfway there. Now just tell her to go away. Just go away. Uh, I think one, one of the things we're going to have to do is build a little bit of a... Look at him. Look at him. Ah, oh, you are so silly, huh, Pocket. I love you so much, you mutant crazy thing. Um, he's like, no, I don't. I don't want to get to know you. I, I don't. Uh, what I am going to try to do is, I'm going to try to keep um our trash from being collected again. Uh, and I saw Mila Bear. Her playlist on her Merkland challenge was fantastic. I'm going to link her in the situation down below so you can check her out. She's a really good seamer. Um, she taught me this. And I don't know if I have enough monies. What happened to here? <gasps> a vampire is breaking in? Who is breaking in? It's daylight. No pet is truly fearless. Even Hot Bucket. Each pet has its own unique fear. So watch your pets to discover what spooks them. Um, I think he was afraid of a vampire. Was that lady that picked up my trash a vampire? Look, I cannot go in here and save my trash. Uh. No, virtually. No, 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 no. You... Freak of nature. Look, we are down to three piles. Oh my gosh, I need to hurry up and, and save the trash. What I'm going to do since it's Monday. Oh, you cannot do this when a... Oh, vampires. Vampires. Can I just reset the object? There we go. Um, Because there's no vampires here. I, I, you know, you learn... Look, we're down to three pieces of trash. I am so mad right now. Uh, let's see if we can afford these. Let's see if we can afford the uh, the wall. We want the wall to take care of these trashnesses. Um, and it's not going to be a very fancy wall. Do you know what I'm saying? Right now, oh, we can only afford two. Can we afford a little, a little one here? Oh, we cannot, we cannot afford much. Oh, and the five copies and the breeding with the, f oh my God, virtually, I, s oh, virtually stop. Virtually, no, virtually, no. Virtually, what is your problems? We're trying to help you. Oh my goodness, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send her to the hot springs because it is time to do it. Oh, oh my goodness. Let's invite the bardos because they're very lovely. Let's invite us the booze. Um, I think Phoebe the farmer, I think she is our vampire. So we are going to uh, not invite her because it's daytime. Um, hot Pocket will automatically come with us. So let's do that. Let's do that, and then we're going to come back. Oh, look, her poop can become another trash plant. Oh, thank you so much, Mila Bear, for this idea, because, oh my gosh, everybody wants to... This is the, um, this is the springs. Uh, it's a quake zone. It's a sunny aspect. It's a brazing breeze. Uh, my lot is the... Si oh, we're traveling right now. I'll show you later. You see, virtually is in the greenness, but you can barely tell because her outfit is green. Everybody's getting this. Look at this beautiful lot. Brenna can. You are so brilliant. Um, we are going to go to this one because um, getting together, we should all go skinny dipping. <laughs> we should all go skinny dipping. That would be hilarious. Okay, maybe some other day. We are just getting to know our friends and we don't want to scare them with virtually. So. Wonderful curbs. <laughs> oh, hilarious. Is everybody getting in? 
And the Vardo brother doesn't like the 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 <laughs> he, he doesn't like it here. He's not getting it. He's like, no, I don't want to show you my junk. I'd rather be eating or something. Um, why don't you say hello to this person? Not a big up line, you pervert. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. What I'm going to do is I, I think I, it's, it's been almost 30 minutes. What I think I'm going to do... I know I have to edit some parts, so it won't be the full 30 minutes. It'll be somewhere around 25, 27 minutes. But we will we will leave this part here. Oh, he's a good guy. Ah, that is wonderful. Why don't you um tell him a dramatic story uh, and have her relax a little bit. So, what do you guys think so far? There's so much to talk about, right? There's so much happening. The Vardo brothers are eating while virtually is in here with a cliff dweller. And, uh, you know, things are happening. Things are happening. She's misty and disgusting. Oh, she's going to have to use a pee pee bush soon. That is okay. Oh, why did he not come with us? That is interesting. All right, my friends. Hey. Buttercups. Oh, what happened back there? Did you see that running so fast? Oh, there is a sleeping slide! <gasps> you are the most sneakiest, Brenna Khan. You are the most sleepy. Oh my goodness. Look at I was like, why is she going so fastly? Ah, this is so good. This is so good. Everybody, there is a sleeping slide here. Did you know this? Oh, so many wonderful things happening all at once. Listen. I'm going to let you guys go, my buttercups, for, just for this time. Uh, I'm going to try to do as many episodes as I can. The holidays are really sneakily up, upcoming fast. They're, they're coming to us fastly. So uh, I don't know if I can stick to a schedule this month, but I'll try to work one out for January, I promise. Uh, in the meantime, I appreciate my buttercups so much. You guys take care. Thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Stay murky and we'll see you in the next episode. Ciao!